a pack with me video, but what I don't want to do is rush around. You know, normally I'm like, I'm chucking it all in. I'll tell you step by step guide to how I've managed to book with Tui, fly with EasyJet, sort all that out, which has been quite complex, and get it all in on hand luggage only. This is for a three day trip to Turkey. I'm going tomorrow and I'm going to share with you all the details I've got because it's quite complicated. Just gonna make my lunch, so I'm gonna talk to you at the same time. So for some reason, which I don't actually know the reason why, it's very, it seems very complex with the EasyJet and Tui thing. To, to try and like log in and check in and all the things that you need to do. And what I managed to find out was that in fact, no, it, you can't do it through the TUI app, you have to do it through the EasyJet app. It's just because so that they can fill up the flights, especially during the winter season. Now you do get really, really good deals. So this trip that I got, I've shared it with you earlier. I invited you guys to come actually. I don't know if I'm gonna see some of you there but it was 260 pounds, all inclusive. That includes, and the thing is as well, some people have said to me, oh, the TUI ones seem a lot more expensive, but they're not really. By the time you look at majority of the other sites, if you go with like Love Holidays, or in fact, most of them, they won't have transfers and luggage included. So by the time you put your luggage in, that'll probably be another 50 pound a person. The transfers probably be another 100 pound a person, but obviously I'm talking about off season stuff, which is now. So best time for me to go is off season because I can get as much filming done as I can without being too intrusive on other people and their holidays. It's a weird one and it always makes me laugh when somebody can see me booking something and they're like, you're going on holiday again? No, this is my work, this is my job. I'm also at the moment navigating that this is part of my PhD research, but that's not why you came here today. You came here to find out about packing. Let me tell you, there's so many little gorgeous nuggets that I've got for you, which you're absolutely gonna love. So this is also gonna be helpful to you if you've booked with Tui and you're flying with EasyJet. You can't log it, you can't, sort of reserve your seats or anything like that. You have to do it all through EasyJet. You can't do it through TUI, which feels quite unhelpful, let's be honest. Um, but obviously there's a reason for that because there's different teams of people dealing with different things. With the TUI app, if you download the TUI app, you can contact the team on there and put in any requests for rooms and things like that. So I've asked for the best room possible. You're gonna get some tips on here that you're not gonna get in other places. So you can thank me later for that because these, these are, the, these are like my tips that I use for, for me to make things happen for me. So get on the app, ask them for the, especially if you're out of season, ask them for the best room available. I'm actually, I hope it's all right to share this information. I'm actually taking my son with me on this trip. Um, you don't often get to see him, so that's gonna be incredible. So in a nutshell, if you've booked with Tui and you're flying with EasyJet, you're gonna have to double and triple check the luggage. Because for me, I'm doing quite a bit of hand luggage only. And when I went to Tenerife, which was the last series that you would have seen, the hand luggage was included. But when I went on the EasyJet website, it said it wasn't. So I bought extra hand luggage. It said you can just have the one that you put under the seat in front of you. Um, and I was like, oh, well, I'm going to be taking on a carry on. So I booked that, but then I went on the TUI app and said to them that I paid for this and they said, you didn't have to do that. We can refund you. And they made it really, really straightforward and they refunded me the money and I had it back within a couple of days. However, it's best to do that while you're still in destination because if you contact on the app, otherwise you've got to go through a whole different scenario. And I think it's quicker when you're in destination because obviously they want to make sure that people are out there, are being tended to and all the rest of it. So. Keep an eye on that, double check, triple check, because the EasyJet website might say it's in, it's not included, and yet with TUI it is, so therefore you need to have a negotiation. It's just a bit of a nightmare, and to be honest, I think in future I'm gonna try and see if I book a little TUI one, if I can get it where it's not this, you know, faffing about, and it's just a TUI flight. But that said, that's probably why it was so cheap. So it's 260 pounds for three nights, kind of four days really, all inclusive. You can't do better than that. People spend that on a night out, but it does mean a bit of navigation. So I've gone onto the EasyJet website, not the app, to make sure that I can check in and they've allocated my seats. Another thing that I would say as well, if you need to be seating together with somebody, 
phone up special assistants and say to them, I, you know, if there's some reason like you can't get your bag up on the um, overhead locker yourself and you need someone to help you or if you're anxious or something like that, phone up special assistants. You can always find their numbers on the, on the websites and um, ask them if you can be seated together and they'll generally do that for free. It's also a really good idea as well if you've got any sort of I know this is my area. Um, if you've got any food allergies, so say if you've got a severe nut allergy and you need anyone on the plane not to have nuts, I don't really want, I want to kind of set a whole disclaimer out. Please do your own due diligence with this. But in my experience, if you speak to special assistants, they will speak to the airline and, and sort all that sort of stuff out. So that's cool. So I'm taking hand luggage only. I've got 15 kilograms, but it won't be as heavy as that. It's just going to be a little suitcase that I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to show you the tips as I'm packing as well, what I'm going to take, what I'm not going to take. And I'm relatively organized as in what I've bought. Very often I'll buy things at the airport, but I, I'm not going to do that this time. I don't think I think I've got everything that I need so a little bit of me is looking at some devastation and destruction that was left in this house yesterday when my lovely daughter went off to go skiing and she's just left this trail of stuff do I sort that out first or do I do the packing I might sort that out first and I'll do my packing later and I'll film that with you and I'm going to try and edit and get this video up ASAP because I'm excited to share more with you uh, I'm excited to get away have you heard yet about the big trip that's coming up in the summer if you haven't, where have you been sleeping? I can't wait to tell you more about that. Do any of you ever lose clothes? Because like I've lost my Gymshark trousers that I can't find and my boys get sad too jumper, which I wanted. Anyway, I have just got stuff on what I wanted to wear for the trip tomorrow. I'm going to wash it and I'm going to get it on the radiator and hopefully it will dry by probably five o'clock in the morning when I'm likely to be getting dressed. Now, if you are someone that leaves it all to the last minute, rather than getting yourself all stressed about it, stick some music on and motivate yourself and absolutely make it a fun thing. Because even travel day is fun, isn't it? It's about the funness of it. It's not just about getting there and, oh, it's taking so long for me to get there. Like, enjoy the journey too. So many years ago, a big part of going away always used to be, oh, nice and bright sunshine up there. It used to be getting your money. Now, at the minute, a lot of countries have got locked money so you will be able to get it at the airport normally you won't be able to get it air, like land side so you'll only be able to get your currency air side so if you're rooting around trying to find it and you can't that's the reason why so i'm going to get the suitcase out now and i'm going to see what i can what i can do fingers crossed right first thing i'm going to do is look at my backpack and i probably might try and link this below because i've seen so many people with this and they absolutely love this backpack it looks really smart um it's really yeah, it's brilliant and i got this from amazon so if i can i'll link it below there's always going to be things in your bag that you don't need to take okay so for example this that was in there from a couple of weeks ago when i went and what i do when i go away is i put all of my receipts and things so that i can remember where i've been and what i've spent in case you guys ever need to know um so i'm going to file this away and get everything out of the bag that I don't need in the bag right now. This is my book of choice. I'll tell you why. I'm writing a book that's kind of similar. It's like travel and it's memoir -y, So I'm going to take that with me. You can see I've tabbed it up already. Um, what have I got in there? I've got some bookmarks of my own. I'm going to take this for the portable charger. This is the time that I've put the portable charger on charge. And I'm also going to take these. But I like these because they've got the microphone on them. And if it's windy out and I'm trying to record for you guys... You can hear better. And I just like this one on the plane. I don't know why. I just I just do. So those are all going to go in, into my hand luggage. I've also got in there my journal. Because I journal every single day. And some pens. In there I've also put a couple of hair bubbles. Um, some earbud things. Um, these can go in the front. I have put my passports in there. But they're going to go in another bag. Because it'd be safer. These little kind of bags are probably quite useful. If you've got bits and bobs that you want to take like say you're taking tea bags or something things like that quite good you just get them from sainsbury's i am probably going to pack some flip-flops that excites me here it is here's the baby so i travel very light this is one of these it luggage it luggage and they're they're really cheap but i've got to say because sometimes i can have problems with my joints so four wheels are best for me and this one so often you'll be pulling it along and it wants to keep like tipping like that but this one doesn't and um, when you've got the handle up like this, it's really good to push along. So um, so that's good. Now, you've got an outside pocket here as well if you want to put... I don't know what I've got in here. I can feel there's stuff in it. So I need to have a little look. Oh, 
it's that again. Do you remember seeing that from last time? I was like, I need to get some information out of that. You can pick those up at the airport for free. They're really good. If you buy them, they're like 5 99 so Get yourself a free one of those and let's have a look in here, see what I've got. Aha, this is why it was heavy. So I was going to suggest to you guys about having a clear thing like this because when you're going through in hand luggage you have to put all your liquids into one of these bags now i always carry one and you can always get a couple of spares when you're there but try not to waste plastic too much if you can help it but all of your liquids should fit in there and they all should be under 100 milliliters so you can get these little decanty pots as well which are quite good this has actually got sun cream in it which is not big enough um and last time i took these little um, ones as well which these are 75 millilitres um, but there's a lot of this I'm not going to need this time some more bookmarks some more sun cream um, so I'm just going to leave these to one side and then when I come back from my trip I can um, put these back in because there's a lot of this I won't need like this is mosquito spray well it's not really it's a skin thing but the mosquitoes don't like it and I'm not going to be taking that so things that I'm not going to take I'm going to put to one side and then repack it when I come back I have said this before I'll say it again take a little peg okay because if you need to clean knickers or things like that if you're really going light and you put this on the balcony and it's windy they're going to blow away <laughs> so just take a little peg in your bag and that's cool now jungle formula if you do want to take some little protection they do this is mini one and it's a roll-on so i just roll this around my my ankles obviously you can't take aerosols on either so when i went to tenerife i didn't take um paper stuff but this time i'm going to because um just in case and I did it all on the app last time and it worked fine, but I was a little nervous. Now, I've just found this one. I wonder if I can get all the stuff that should go in there in here. If I can, it be, I don't know, I just feel it'd be a bit more organised. Um, let me show you what I bought. So, these are what I bought from the shop. I've got a little mini Colgate. I will take that out of the box. I don't need the box. Um, I've got this mini. It was the only one I could find and this is for face mini hang um sorry sun cream just in case we need some sun cream this is a factor 30 and two mini charles worthington shampoos and conditioners so bear in mind three nights two of us probably wash our hair every day because no enough will go swimming and running and, and to the gym so these are definitely going to go in there but you'll also need to put in there things like your face creams and stuff like that yeah it's not going to fit in that one is it for sure well we're together on the floor <laughs> And it looks complete chaotic mess right now. And I also look like I'm vlogging from the, I don't know, whatever year that was when everything used to be so high up there, didn't it? So my case is ready now. Now I'm going to literally show you everything that I'm going to put in there now. Obviously a lot of it will be done in the morning. And even though we don't have a morning flight, I am going to leave particularly early. Because if you don't know, there's problems at Luton Airport at the moment where there was a fire in the um, parking lots. So... Apparently there's quite a bit of traffic. You might remember I've told you this before, put your underwear in something, I don't know how much you're taking, in something like that, because when you've got to open your bag to get out your, this is right, tip central, when you've got to open your bag to get this out, and what I would suggest is you put everything in and then your liquids, stand the case up, unzip the top bit and put them in there. So that, unless you've got an outside pocket, but it's, it's probably going to bulge too much and it'll be, like on the transfer bus and everything it'd be a nightmare so do that and pop it in the top so then you can unzip it and get it out but just in case you don't want everyone seeing your knickers so get one of these little things or you can even if you order clothes from like Shein or somewhere like that do you know what I think I probably could have got that in there but I'm still gonna have in the morning face cream um actually I need to get a face flannel thing I haven't got one of those yet that's something I was going to say. Normally with all-inclusive packages, your towels will all be included. Some of the countries like Spain, you have to get them at reception and you pay like a £10, €10 Euro deposit. Um, but then but then you will get that back. So um, you get that back at the end. But I'm, I'm not going to take towels. There's really not very much I need to take. So footwear, I'm going to take a pair of trainers, which I'll be wearing, and a pair of flip-flops, which will be in my case. I'm going to put my little handy... Um, peg in there that I'm probably not going to need. I'm going to leave my liquids to one side for now. I am going to take a bikini 
I'm very unlikely to be wearing that out there, but you don't know. And I wasn't going to take one to Tenerife, and I'm very glad that I did. So the bikini is also going to go in this little zippy up thing. I don't want to show you too much about that because it looks a bit like a parachute because the girl's got... Uh, in fact, I had a comment recently. It's going to make you laugh. I had a comment recently. Very nice rack on, on my YouTube. So I kind of appreciated that, but I kind of wasn't too sure if I should be offended. I'm going to need a bigger one for my underwear. Um, and again, think, really think about what you're going to be taking on the plane what you're going to be wearing and what it's going to be like when you get to the other end because if you're going somewhere really hot that's going to be if you're going to arrive at midday at egypt for example you're not going to want to go in your hoodie and your jeans you're going to want to get changed so for me what i would do in that scenario this tiny little thing could go in my backpack it's just a throw over dress you know this by now what do we call this my favorite dress if you watch this far into the video, comment below for my favourite dress. Start putting in the clothes. I like to roll them because they don't get so um, creased up. So yeah, think about that. Now, when I travelled to Tenerife, the plane was really, really cold taking off. But by the time we got over to more like the middle of the, uh, the world, <laughs> should we say, it started to get really hot on the plane. So layer up. And obviously then, if you've got, say, something like this, you can tie it around your waist when you get off the plane the other side. So I would really suggest doing that. Now, a lot of my underwear is currently drying on the radiator. A swimming costume, because I'm going to be swimming in the indoor pool. Actually, I need to text my son and remind him to take a costume. You're going to want, I just, I gave Jasmine all of my um, my plugs to fit in for the foreign plugs. Um, but I've just managed to find a couple more. Don't know where I've put them, actually. Oh, along with my swimming costume, I'm also taking my goggles, because when I swim... I properly swim so i'm going to take my goggles to get under the water this is a charging um a charging lead so i can go from portable charger to phone with that so that's going to go in my hand luggage backpack where well, everything's hand luggage but my backpack i've got a t-shirt which is going in for the gym which will just go over gym leggings which i can't find a sports bra very important I'm currently trying to get my fitness up at the moment and therefore there's a bit of cardio going on which wasn't always the case. I've got a basic t-shirt which can go over a pair of shorts, just a little stripy one. A nice blouse actually to go over a pair of black jeans. So I'm going to take the jeans that I've got on now which are blue jeans and I'm going to take, I can't actually, this is so tied up. I looked at this the other day and couldn't get it. There we go. Um, so I've got black jeans as well to put this over. And then do you remember, you've seen it when I went to Menorca with Jasmine. I got a white blazer, which looks really nice. It looks super smart. I might even wear it with, um, with flip-flops rather than trainers. That might look cute. Flip-flops, black jeans, this, and a white blazer. What do you think? Do you like that? I mean, I don't try and be a fashion guru. Uh, this is my go-to jumpsuit, which is really cute because in Turkey at the moment, and it is January, nearly the end of January, it will be the, will be February when we come back actually, um, that the temperature is around about between 12 and 15 during the day and it goes down to about 6 or 8 in the evening time. Now, the thing I love about going away at this time of year is you can sleep without the air conditioning on, which also means you don't get so dehydrated which is a, an issue that I struggle with sometimes. And it can give you an upset tummy if you're dehydrated. So if you're drinking loads and you're in the sun and you're not drinking enough water, then you can get dehydrated. Okay, gym leggings, because I still can't find my other leggings. So that's, I really don't know where they've gone. And my boys get so too jump. I just hope I haven't left them at the gym. Uh, oh, this is something you haven't seen yet. This is a wraparound skirt. I bought this to go to, oh, actually, yeah, no, I've got a black t-shirt that go with that to go to Greece with because it's really small and light. I haven't worn it yet. Oversized t-shirt, I've got another one which is white, which is currently drying. So oversized t-shirt, that's for flipping everything. So if you're wandering, if you wanna go over your shorts, if you're getting sunburned, you wanna cover up, love that. Oh, here we go, two plugs. I'm gonna put one in my hand luggage and well, you know what I mean, my backpack. Plain black t-shirt, I've got a couple of these because you can't go wrong with those. A vest top is kind of like a racer back vest top, which I will use this with my sports bra and it will look cute because my sports bra is pink. Racer back top, I got this on Amazon and it was super cheap and it's just brilliant just to throw in there like that. My blazer, obviously I'm not gonna roll that, so I'll put that in in a minute. My black jeans, 
Oh, I also need to remember a night dress because I'm going with my son. I've got this little cardigan, little shrug thing that I've had for years and it's so good to take away because if you do feel a little bit cold, it can even go under a blazer or something like that. I am gonna take my trusty throw just in case it is very hot and I want the bikini on and that would be really nice. Now the hotel we're going to is fabulous. Make sure you subscribe to see that. A pair of shorts, these are a little bit too short for my liking but I'm gonna take them anyway. And then I've got space for my thing with my underwear when that's all dry from the washing my liquids my i'm going to take my straighteners my makeup will be in there my stuff that's not liquid and then those will just lay nicely on the top everything else could go in my hand luggage and i believe that might be it so when i get up in the morning to get ready i'll do my makeup as i'm doing it i'll put it in here as i'm doing my skincare obviously before that i will put the skincare in here and then when my washing is dry, which I'm not going to forget the underwear and stuff because, because it's drying on the radiator with the clothes that I will actually wear when I'm travelling. So I think that we might be about there. In my backpack over there, I've got passport. I've got boarding passes printed out. Uh, I've got a handbag, which is going to go across me like that. And in there, I will put my purse and my um, documents as well in my purse i've got credit cards i've got a little bit of english cash i will try and get i've also got my bank cards so i'll try and get a little bit of currency out at the airport if i can so i think i'm about there i hope it's been helpful make sure that you come back and watch the video where you can see us traveling and um traveling from luton as well to antalya antalya is great if you've not been absolutely definitely go so i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye bye for now